Thermoscientific Heratherm refrigerated incubators provide a refined approach to incubation. Equipped with energy efficient Peltier technology and a temperature range of 5 to 70 degrees C, Heratherm refrigerated incubators are ideal for applications that demand precision, performance, and reliability. Available as a stackable 180 liter benchtop model or a 400 liter floor standing model. Our flexible size offering ensures there is a Heratherm solution to meet your analytical testing requirements. Today, we'll show you how to unbox and install the floor standing Thermoscientific Heratherm IMP400 refrigerated incubator. The Heratherm IMP400 refrigerated incubator is delivered on a single pallet. Immediately upon delivery, inspect the shipping carton carefully for damage. If damage is noted on the incubator or the packaging, in particular damage caused by humidity or water, notify the shipping carrier and Thermo Fisher Scientific Technical Support. All packaging material can be separated and are reusable. Cut the plastic packaging ribbons from the box. Then remove the top cover from the box and place to the side. Open the cardboard gently by unfolding it from around the unit. Carefully inspect the unit for damage before proceeding. Please do not discard or recycle the cardboard until the unit has been inspected. The accessories are packaged in a separate box on top of the unit. The accessories for the unit will include a power cord, an electronic copy of the user's manual, and a certificate of quality. Once the accessory box has been cataloged, remove the box beneath the unit. This box contains the rails needed to remove the floor standing model from the pallet. If you purchased a benchtop thermoscientific Heratherm IMP180 refrigerated incubator, you will not receive rails for removal. Remove the plastic cover from the unit. We suggest retaining this cover for future use in case the unit needs to be moved or stored for a short period of time. The floor standing IMP400 is held in place by two side brackets and wooden supports that will need to be removed before the unit can be taken off the pallet. You will need a socket wrench and a screwdriver. First, loosen the side brackets using the socket wrench. Then using the screwdriver, remove the wooden supports from beside the bracket. Finally, twist the bracket backwards to remove the bracket from underneath the unit. Repeat for the other support and bracket. Using the screwdriver, remove the wooden support frame from either the front or back of the unit. Line the rails with the casters and screw the rails to the pallet for safety. With two people, gently roll the unit forward down the rails until the unit reaches the floor. Once the unit reaches its final position, lock the swiveling caster by depressing the lever brakes on the casters to stop the unit from rolling. If the brakes are not visible, carefully twist the casters 180 degrees until the brakes are visible at the front or side of the unit. When placing the unit in its final location, be sure to maintain the required clearance as listed in the manual to ensure proper ventilation. Once the unit is in its final location, follow the instructions in the manual to install the anti-tilt anchors on the back of the left and right side of the unit to a solid part of the building which is suitable for shoring loads. The installation of the anti-tilt anchor should only be carried out by qualified personnel. Ensure that the condensation water dishes are placed below each Peltier unit on the attached stands at the back of the unit. Upon delivery, Heratherm refrigerated incubators are not in a sterile state. Before the initial startup, the unit must be decontaminated. Interior components, including the support rails, the shelf supports, perforated shelves, all interior surfaces, interior seals and gaskets, and the glass door should be inspected for cleanliness and disinfected prior to use. It is also possible to remove the air baffle from the back interior of the unit for cleaning and disinfection as well. Follow the instructions in the user manual for removing and reinstalling the air baffle. After disinfection, install the shelf support bracket into the perforations of the support rail and tilt downwards, ensuring the two vertical elements of the shelf support bracket butt up against the support rail. Remove the protective film 
from the perforated shelf. Push the shelf onto the shelf support bracket with the tilt protection devices facing to the rear panel of the refrigerated incubator. Slightly raise the perforated shelf so the pullout stops can slide over the shelf support brackets. Verify that the shelf and both of its tilt protection devices are free to move over the brackets. Repeat to install the second shelf. Connect the IEC connector to the socket at the rear of the unit. Carefully route the power cord along a path that does not cross possible hot surfaces, passageways, or aisles. Connect the grounded plug of the power cord directly to the properly grounded power socket. Ensure that the power cord is uncompromised by being pulled too tightly or by compression. Your Heratherm refrigerated incubator is now ready for use. Turn on the incubator using the control panel on the door. For further information, please refer to the user manual included with your unit. Now that your incubator is installed, let's review some benefits that the Heratherm refrigerated incubator provides your laboratory. At the back of the unit, you will see the two Peltier modules that are used to maintain temperature. Peltier technology requires low energy consumption particularly in the range of 15 to 25 C, and never requires defrosting. The thermoelectric technology also enables temperature uniformity and stability with minimal vibration disruption, with the only moving part in the unit being the fan to optimize temperature distribution. The Heratherm refrigerated incubator comes equipped with a stainless steel factory installed port cover. If you do not plan on using the port, feel free to leave the cover in place. Otherwise, remove the cover by twisting sideways to expose the port. Once the port is exposed, you can see the plastic plug. If you need to run a power cord or probe through the port, remove the plug and cut to accommodate. Ensure the plug is inserted before running the unit to protect the temperature uniformity and stability. The IMP400 refrigerated incubator contains 37 shelf positions for maximum flexibility. The holes on the shelf supports alternate between round and oval to help keep shelves even when inserting the shelf supports. Each unit comes standard with two perforated stainless steel shelves. Additional shelves can be ordered to accommodate your application needs. Next, let's take a look at the control panel. On the panel, you will see the on-off button, the menu button, two toggle buttons, and an escape button. A detailed explanation of the button functionality can be found in the user manual. The display field will show a permanent readout of the actual temperature in the unit. The temperature readout has one digit after the decimal point. Below the display field is the menu bar. The menu bar is populated by icons. From left to right, the icons indicate set temperature, set timer, fan status, and settings. As an example, we will set the temperature of our unit to 5 degrees C. Press menu to activate the menu bar. Then use the right toggle button to select the temperature icon and press menu to confirm. In the flashing setting pane, press the left toggle button to adjust the temperature down to 5 degrees C. Once the set value reads 5 degrees C, press the menu button to confirm the setting. The display will now return to the default temperature display. The actual temperature measured in the workspace will start to change until it reaches the new setting. The Heratherm refrigerated incubator also has a setting for a countdown timer, a fixed on-off timer, and a weekly timer, as well as the ability to program the unit to run through a defined cycle. To create a program, follow the detailed instructions in the user manual. The manual also contains instructions to change the temperature display units, adjust settings like the over temperature alarm, and adjust the fan speed. The thermoscientific Heratherm refrigerated incubator represents a refinement in incubation, complete with microprocessor control, push button calibration, and a large clear vacuum fluorescent display. Heratherm refrigerated incubators feature intuitive features to make your work easier. Eliminating the need for refrigerants and other hazardous substances, Heratherm refrigerated incubators use Peltier modules to cool and heat thermoelectrically, making it a greener alternative. 
Automatic controls of the Peltier module ensures optimal temperature adaption to provide the precise temperature control. As with the entire thermoscientific Heratherm family, the Heratherm refrigerated incubator is designed with your samples in mind. We hope you found this video helpful. For more information or questions, please visit us at www.thermofisher.com slash incubators.